This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part two of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. And we're going to need to delete this barrel that we made uh, last time because of the perspective of the gridded view kind of screwed everything up. And also, we're going to change the background picture and the perspective viewport um, to this green one just so that we can get a clearer view. We'll still be using the gridded view, but uh, it'll be more off the side than anything. So, to start, uh, we're going to work on this base piece here. So on the left viewport, create a cylinder the radius of about 5.36. Bring the height down, bring the sides down to about 18. And get it lined up with this little here thing we have here. So just zoom in until it looks good. Okay, and I have a uh, height set at about 5.636, which looks pretty good for um, what we want. So convert it to an editable poly. Go into the polygon mode and select the back half deselect the uh, sides and you're going to want to extrude them about uh, well just extrude them and then drag then uh, scale them so they're flat maybe on the y axis and then in the picture here we want to scale them to about or move them to about there and extrude them in extra Mm, 2.3 looks pretty good. Alright, so that's what it leaves us with. Um, go into the edge mode and then just oops, delete all these edges in here we really don't need them, and then go to uh, border, cap, border, cap, and select the edges in here, and delete those as well, and go to border, and cap. So now we have a nice uh, face to work with. Next, select the top edge here and then just drag it down a bit. That's not good. Oh. Um get rid of all these vertices too. So just press delete. And delete and of course we're gonna have to fix this. So um delete all of these vertices too. Well, might as well make a good ball right. And go into polygon and create and just click all of the points and then come back and create one side. Here, and if you double click on the last point, it'll uh, automatically fill it in. Oh. Make sure you're on the points. Do the same thing. Lastly, over here. This time I'm going to try to make the mesh a little smoother and uh, better than my previous tutorial. Because that one I just kind of hacked at it so it would look the way I wanted it to. Just drag that out a bit. Okay. Go into Polygon, and select this, the uh, inside one, I guess, right here. And you're going to want to inset it about. Let's 
say 2.68 then give it a small bevel about 0.4 and negative 0.28 an extrude of about 0.785 um, control and select this edge thing the edge mode and then give it a really small chamfer just to break it up a bit okay and this is what I want it to look like finally um, next you're going to want to get it in place again so I'll get this big view here perspective and line it up and on the x-axis just drag it over until it looks pretty much lined up. doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it pretty nice, so you'll have this. And then just mirror that on the x-axis, and then drag it a bit to the right again, because it'll move. Next, now that we have those two main pieces, we can work on uh, this little giant rectangle thing. So let's start by actually making a cylinder um, in the middle of these two things so make a cylinder increase sides to 40 and then just position it in the approximate center and then increase the radius of it until the height reaches the uh, or actually a little bit outside of these things. So it touches right there and right there. Then what you're going to do is bring it back just until it barely misses the corners here. Okay? Um, then you're going to want a box and just create any old size and align it with the cylinder. X, Y, and Z. Drag it, drag it so that the box in the front here is just behind these little uh, circle things. Okay. Um, scale it inward until you have about that much space left on either side. Just a little bit more. Right about there. Okay and uh, convert it to an editable poly go into the vertex mode and then just drag this oops, sorry, don't scale, drag this forward a bit but leave a little extra room in the back alright next, press alt w to get back in the normal view you're going to want to drag this and position it so it's right in the center here and select all the vertices of this thing, of the box, and scale them outward just a bit so they're a bit taller. Okay, pull that up so you can see a bit. That's about how far I have it on either side. And just make sure that the cylinder goes through the box. Next, um, let's see, we're going to want to. box into a pro boolean. Um, press imprint, start picking, and pick the cylinder. Okay, looks pretty good. Um, convert to editable poly. Select uh, the polygon here. And just to clean it up a bit, go to cut, select the point, and then move down here, okay, and then do the same thing on the back, select the point, cut, okay, and then just delete this edge here, because we don't really want it to go on the bottom. Uh, that'll be it for part two, I'll see you in part three.